what's going on? Welcome to my channel. If you guys haven't seen any of my videos before, and if you have, or if you are a subscriber, welcome back. So today is another whole video of new drugstore makeup, and I know I said that, you know, I don't buy too many, you know, makeup products anymore because I don't want to become a hoarder, but this, you know, situation is a little different. Actually, I threw out a lot of, um, like, lippy stuff that's been a couple of years old that looks a little goopy so I threw, threw some of my old lippy products out and I re is the word replenished my um, makeup collection so that's that's really what I did um, also I have um, a coastal scents haul that I will be including into this video I just bought an um it's more than a couple I, I bought quite a few eyeshadows because I needed them. And they're mostly brown shades. I'm just going to let you guys know that. I like to be really neutral on the eyes. But I bought more brown shades because if you see my makeup, any of my makeup tutorials, I'm always using like saddle and I'm always using brown script. I'm always using those type of colors. So uh, I really wanted to have a variety of brown shades. So let's get started because I don't want this video to be too long. Okay guys, so the first two things I'm going to show you. One's in the collection and one isn't. One's just a permanent um lippy that anybody can get and it's a Revlon a Revlon lipstick and this is in the color Coral Berry. The reason why I purchased this lipstick is because I saw Alicia from B2B. She had this like really pretty like it's like a corally lippy. It was just gorgeous. I know she said it was Vegas Vault and another color. I don't remember what the other color was but I know there were two MAC shades, and I really didn't want to buy those, buy the two MAC shades. So I went online and I looked for the dupes of those shades. So Coral Berry is actually the exact dupe for um, Vegas Vault. So that's the reason why I got this. So I'm biting off her lip, her lip color because it was just so pretty. And then I also purchased a nail polish. This is to a collection. Now, you guys know if you've been in the drugstores and you've been in that new product um section you know sinful colors has their permanent line and then they always have like these little tiny like mini collections so this particular shade is from one of the mini collections and this is the color thimbleberry it's in the i believe the glitten glam collection if i'm not mistaken if i'm wrong i will list it somewhere in here where the actual collection is but i believe it's a glitten glam collection Okay, so another item that I got was a Maybelline The Elixir Color Sensational. I don't know if this is a lip gloss or a liquid lipstick. I would definitely consider this more of a liquid lipstick because it's that opaque and that pigmented. But I just picked up one because I really wasn't like a huge fan of these because I saw them when they first came out. But they didn't like really, they didn't, have, they didn't, they didn't grab my attention. But I did see a video of a young woman, she was showing her collection, and she showed this pretty vibrant purple color that I was just like, <gasps> I had to get, because I really like real, real, real deep, like real purple colors, like the actual purple colors, I really love that on our lips, and I mean everybody's lips, I just really love that color. So I did pick up just one, and this one's Envision Violet. On that Saturday, I did pick up a Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm. And I've been dying to get these for a long time. And every time I go into a drugstore, literally, they only have the liqueurs and a few of the mats. And the mats are, like, broken. It looks like somebody was digging their finger in it. And I'm just like, they really, these companies really need to have samples. Because these girls out here are really going overboard with opening it up. And they, like, putting in their nose or putting on it. Like, they doing stuff with this and it's disgusting. This was the only one that somebody, something, somebody didn't touch. So I picked this one up, and it's like a really vibrant pink, and dupe alert for you girls who like dupe alerts and dupes. This is a dupe for Candy Yum Yum. This is an exact dupe for Candy Yum Yum. Now, I don't have Candy Yum Yum, but I do have the exact dupe for it, which is Maybelline, Maybelline Color Vivid in Fuchsia Flash, I believe, but the, but the, the difference between Candy Yum Yum and, of course, the Fuchsia Flash color is the finish. The finish. Candy Yum Yum is matte. The other one isn't. But this is the same exact color as Fuchsia Flash, but it's matte. So 
So I would definitely say this is a spot on one. So if you're looking for Candy Yum or you just can't afford can Candy Yum Yum, go into your local drugstore and try to find Revlon Colorburst Matte Balm in Showy because you will not be disappointed. It's a pretty, pretty vibrant fuchsia color. Okay, so the next time I'm going to show you are the new NYC Lip Color Intense Lip Colors, I think these are called. And I showed this one to you in my previous video, which is Ballroom Blush, which is a really pretty light pinkish color, like hot pinkish color. And then last Sunday, not, not today. I'm filming this on a Sunday, but you guys won't be seeing this on a Sunday. But I would say... The last Sunday of January, I purchased these bad boys. Purchased five more. I really like these. These are really opaque and they're smooth. These are really good and they're $2.99. Now, FYI, before I even show you the colors that I got, do not purchase these in Kmart because I purchased this for $4.99 in Kmart and in the drugstores, these are $2.99. I should go into Kmart and be like, give me back my $2. But I won't. I'm not that, I'm not the type of girl. So, the colors that I got were Canal Street Coral. Yes, these are named after streets and like parks and all that type of stuff. Don't be scared of the way this looks, the packaging looks. This color is not that opaque. You have to really like apply it onto your lips to get a real crazy vibrant color. Um, I noticed with the lighter ones of these, they're not as opaque as the darker ones. So don't be fooled by this. It will be very light on your lips. But this is Canal Street. Canal Street Coral. The next one is Metropolitan Mauve, which I actually have on my lips, which I really like. And this is a pretty everyday color. The next one is Fulton Street Fuchsia. And I have here Brook Brooklyn Brownstone, which is weird because more brownstones are in Harlem, but whatever. And the last one is Gramercy Park Plum. Okay guys, so the next products that I'm going to show you, I got them from Walgreens. And I was really shocked to see them in Walgreens because they said that they weren't coming out until February. But it is the new Milani collection. So I picked up a couple of things from that collection. They have like a, a sort of, a like, they have like so many lip products it's crazy i was just like which one should i choose i don't know which one should i choose but i will be back because it's permanent but um i did pick up three glosses and they are the brilliant shine lip glosses so let me just show you the three that i got let me make sure they are lined up correctly and i got these three and this one is Berry Tempting, which is a pretty purple color. Then I got Bear Secret, which is a nude. And I really picked this one up because I threw away a lot of my nude lip glosses because they were old. So this one is Bear Secret. And then this one is Coral Crush because I really, really like corally lippies. So those are the three that I purchased. And then I also purchased this new anti-feathering lip liner from Milani. The packaging broke. Don't ask me how it broke, but it did. Um, so it just came off like this. But yeah, I got the anti-feathering lip liner. And it's, of course, in transparent. I think it's like a waxy kind of um, feel to it. Okay, so the last thing I purchased in the store is really the one thing that I truly wanted. And it is the Maybelline baby skin and primer i've been looking for this for a long time and literally i mean these girls wipe out these drugstores now it's crazy it is so crazy but anyway i went to rite aid and i was like up and down and out up and down and out am i gonna buy something am i gonna, I really really want this and i looked in the maybelline section and did not see this now see the issue with me is i don't look really really look but you know i, I Looked in the Maybelline selection, couldn't find it, walked away, went back. Looked all the way at the all the way down at the bottom and I found it. It was, of course, in the baby lips area. It was the last one, and there was no doubt in my mind that I was going to purchase this. 
Okay, so that was the end of my drugstore products. And I'm just going to show you the stuff that I got from Coastal Scents. I purchased about, I would say about maybe 11 or 12 eyeshadows from Coastal Scents. If you guys know, Coastal Scents eyeshadows are like $2. So I purchased some. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I literally have two bright colors and the other ones are browns. So, you know, just to let you know. So here is the first one. It is Edgy Eggplant, which I actually have here down smoked on um, my lower lash line. So this is, let me pull it back here because of that light. Here is Edgy Eggplant, which is a purple color. This one is, actually it doesn't have an, uh... A name it's just a hot pink color it says m18 which I also have this on my lower lash line to blend out that purple color the next color is chocolate hair which is a deep brown earth rose hope you guys can see that here is burnt umber here is coconut husk this one is my favorite actually it's my second favorite out of all of them coconut husk maybe because I like the name this one is, this is my favorite, Oktoberfest. Guys, this is so similar to Brown Script. I'm just like, nah. this is more orangey than Brown Script. Brown Script, Brown Script is a little bit more red, but really, really, really close. So here is Oatmeal Tan. This one is Caramel, or Caramel, however you want to pronounce it. Harvest Brown, which is similar to, I believe, which one is that? oatmeal tan I think or, or caramel and this last one is peach peach copper which is a peachy copper color but that's pretty much it for my nice little haul that I have here if you guys like this video please give please give it a thumbs up if you guys would like to see swatches of any of the lip collection products that I have or reviews on them let me know down below in the comment section and if you guys would like to see more videos from me, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!